Hello and greetings and salutations, everyone. Uh, I was just what he was saying there. Okay, there we go. So, hello and greetings and salutations, everyone. It is I, Flip the Beacon, and today we're continuing on with our blind let's play of Dr. Kodak's Obliteration Game, as you can see up right there. And today we're continuing on, yep, we are continuing on playing this game, but yes, um, I would like to say thank you to the company that's developing and publishing this game, which is Freak Storm. Thank you very much, guys, for hooking me up with a copy of this game to do a blind let's play on and a game review. So I'm hoping to see if we got our team here still, uh, the two guys, yep, we still have two of them here. Interesting. And now Mic Mac too. Mic Mac, the kitty cat. It's a part of Twilight this time, as we prepare to tantalize both our contestants with the prospect of liberating the world of mud. Oh, mud. Now, I know that this planet may not be the most tantalizing prospect for my planetarium, but as an omnipotent being, I have a responsibility <laughs> to consider all types of art, even the more visually challenging. After all, looks aren't everything. Well, actually they are. But let's face it, not everyone can be as stunning as me. Maybe mud minions can be beautiful too. Ooh, look at that. I wonder if the cat can drop farther than uh, Weeble can. So we're going to park him there. Oh, he's going to hurt himself. Now he's back up. And I wonder how we get that. Maybe we have to do the block jump. Probably. Which we'll find out here pretty soon. <sighs> okay, so we need to use the block to get that. And we got some weird music going on. And that's the planet today. It does look like a giant mud ball. Let's see if he can jump this. He definitely can. Which I was curious about. And I was just looking over there. So here's our first planet piece. Our second planet piece, I should say. Mix that up. Get out of your block. There we go. Push that down. And we probably need to get over there and uh, take care of that stuff. But I do want to get whatever this is. And, uh, interesting. I also just wonder if we're even supposed to be over here quite yet. <laughs> Have a feeling. Probably not. So we're gonna go get this block so we can both take both heroes up here this time around. Got, we got a cardboard box here. All right, so we'll throw that up there. So both Kitty Cat and um, Weebu can come over here. And we'll play the Kitty Cat for right now. This cute little butt, I guess. Or he, she, I don't know what it is. Could be a girl, could be a guy, don't know. It's whatever it wants to be. And we got all these, and we're back here. Here for you guys, and that's up. Let's go get that kitty cat thing. This is the thing that allows him to walk through walls. 
uh, such as these. And we got that turned off. What am I saying? All this spiritual journey plan she clapped up is clearly turning my superior brain to mush. <laughs> it's an ugly planet full of mud bugs. Not worthy of my collection. It has to go. I have a responsibility to collect only the rarest and most beautiful art. I am the planetary connoisseur, after all. I have a duty to obliterate the ugly stuff and focus on creating only beauty. Beauty <laughs> like Let's make sure that there is nothing over there. And uh, I wondered if uh, we were supposed to get the other piece over there. I feel like this will probably open this up. And we're both in here now. I'm gonna get all these while we're at it. Are Mr. You Kitty Cat going to perish horribly at any time now? So I recommend a spot of comforting self delusion. Keep thinking positive thoughts. And that opens up there. And this probably turns it off. Okay, and that gets us over there. Can we get back over there? Yep. Cool. Weebo, let's go ahead and pick up this block because you're probably going to need it again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And we're blazing quite through this pretty easily. Looking pretty good. And uh, of course, of course, I forgot this at the time. And uh, on the timer there. So, best of luck here. Here. And then he comes in here. And let's see what this has to offer over here for us. What have we got this time? Fantastic! Juvana highly effective Kavora cloaking device. Uh -huh. Makes ugly planets disappear. Ugly chickens do. Just <laughs> think you'll never have to look at your ugly old bird again. Vanting sees up with this little beauty and she'll disappear forever. Hasta la vista, Eglo. So we gotta go back up there. <laughs> and, uh jump and Mr. Kitty Cat didn't make it so we'll try again there we go let's take Igloo's place or, or yep And okay, so we got everything essentially here. Okay, so we're gonna need him to go way over here. <laughs> here we go. Come on, Mr. Kitty Cat, jump! Not quite. This is a little on the difficult side. <sighs> we'll get across, guys. Uh, we did before. We can do it again. There we go. So we got that ability. 
And now we're going back across. Get that wall turned off. So Kabibu can come over. Now this little alien, I don't know if can make it across. So let's just go ahead and put that block there. You probably could make it over there, which is fine, but let's play it on the safe side a little. There's a save point, and... Mira, mira on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Your beauty keeps us in your thrall, so under your dazzling spell will fall. You speak the truth, you frightful clown. I look in the mirror and I am constantly amazed at my own magnificent <laughs> loveliness. You can't get more perfect than I am. My splendor makes everyone love me more. I am Kavorak, god of beauty. You must have rather faulty eyes. Oh, your mirror tells you lies. Perhaps your ego helps disguise your inner ugliness inside. You beastly bandom. You'd crack any mirror you stood in front of. As for hidden depths, the only thing hidden in your depths is an egg. Which tasted pretty good for my breakfast this morning, I give you that. <laughs> you Weird. Have oh, man. Videos, despite your grotesque appearance. You may lock me up and keep me tethered, but I've stars in my heart and sparkles in my feathers. Oh, fooey. What a rabbit. <laughs> Maybe sometimes you'll find an optically deficient rooster who will put up to you. But let's face the truth. You're just a common, boring old pity bird. You'll never find another bird like me. My inner passion sets me free. It's not what, but how you see. Try looking through the same eyes as me. Hey, uh, was laying the smack down, so it was Korvac. And where are we at? We're back to the beginning here. Yeah, see, I don't think we were supposed to get up there, but we figured out we could. I'm pretty good at that. And let's bring him back. He has I've only two toes. In my own Ooh, we almost jumped off. It's important to have a positive self-image. Right. <laughs> we just run over the cat. As we all know, the obliteration game is a game of choice, not jazz. So how will they choose to win or lose? And uh, we got a thing going on there. And we're going to watch uh, people get blown up here. Weeboo, or do we need the cat? We need we the cat to be over here. <laughs> there we go. We're pretty bad about running into each other. And we'll see how we do. That's pretty slow moving, so I have high hopes that we can outrun it. Maybe. Oh gosh. No, no, don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop believing. <laughs> we got that, and we're out of here. And we're almost done, I think. Yep, and I hope you guys are having a good day. It's a pretty fantastic game here, like I said before. I have a lot of fun with it. Let's flop that in there. And uh, switch back to the cat. Cat can pick up uh, this statue over here. And then we only got 10 more to go. It's interesting now having two uh, characters in this. And here we are. 
This is the end of the game. Ah, my board needs challenge. I'm always fond of hypothetical energy barriers. Even though they are rather primitive to an omnipotent being like myself. <laughs> okay. I see. So one of us is gonna go across. And one of us is gonna stay. There we go. And our last four are here. So we'll go back over here. And we'll see. It's, nope. It's gonna be this one. How do we get that? That's what I like to know. Not that way. Let's make sure there's no thing here. And put this down. Does this take us the way we want? Yep. And we only got one more world piece. And here we go. I wonder if this does anything. We'll find out. Another one. And we got a new suit for our Wonder Boy there. Mr. Kitty Cat or Mrs. Kitty Cat, whoever it is, or whatever it is. I'm assuming is the block for that? No. What is the block for then? Oh god. I thought we killed Guibu. <laughs> ah, I see. I know exactly what it's for now. Uh, we turn on all three of these. Okay. And we get that planet over there. And there we go. Ta-da! And that was pretty good. Yay! Did fantastic there. <laughs> and I do like the music a lot in the game. Uh, it's definitely a lot of fun. And I'll have to get uh, Mr. Kitty Cat over here. Come on, Mr. Cat. Let's get over there. Mrs. Cat. Did they say this was a girl or guy? I can't remember. Maybe it could be both. It could be anything it wants to be. It could be an attack helicopter if it wishes to be. Alright. And we beat this. And we get the mud, mud, glorious mud achievement. What a stunning performance by our plows tonight. They really had to work very hard to mm -hmm. check out we did. in the beauty in this world. So let's see how sophisticated their artistic appreciation is. And we got everything. Look at that. Burp, burp. Well, I must say I'm astonished. These two chaps actually work rather well together. Mm -hmm. I've not seen that before. Usually, it's everyone for themselves. So well done, I suppose, for rescuing the mod minions and the hideous planet. Ugliness wins this round. 
I can only hope that you both come to your senses in the next zone. It's zone 8 next. Is everyone still excited? Yeah, we all excited. <laughs> it's show time. It's show time. Participate or procrastinate. Ooh, Bitch, procrastination really is you. pretty fun. Uh, excuse me. I'm tired. Well, let's see what goes on here. Still washing my hair. Oh, wait. <laughs> All right, guys. That's pretty much it for today. Thank you, as always, for stay, uh, tuning in and watching me play uh, my Blind Let's Play series. Again, this was uh, Dr. Kovac's Obliteration Game, as you can see up there. And as we always say at the end of every single one of my videos, flip that bacon. See you next time. And goodbye.